So when we look at the facial bones of the skull, these are going to be separate from the cranial bones of the skull. So the facial bones are literally just these front facial bones that make up the skull then. So let's start here on the anterior side with the nasal bone. So we have two nasal bones. And then as you come just lateral to the nasal bone, you have this maxilla bone. And this, you see how the maxilla bone goes all the way down and comes all the way up around the orbital right here. You can see that on both sides again. So we have two of these bones as well. So nasal bone and then the maxilla. And then as we go into the eye orbit here, you see that the next bone in here is the lacrimal bone. And the lacrimal bone has this little lacrimal groove where the nasolacrimal duct will drain the tears down into the nasal cavity. After the lacrimal bone going deep, the next bone that you'll have, you'll see, is going to be the ethmoid bone. So the ethmoid bone here, and on these skulls you can see within the ethmoid bone that there's little air cells or sinuses inside the ethmoid bone. So if I can show you on this side, you can really see those air cells there on this side as well. So again, you're going to have two of the lacrimal bones and then two of the ethmoid bones as well. Sorry, one ethmoid bone that is on both sides of the skull, but one ethmoid bone. And then deep in the eye socket here, the very deepest bone in the back is going to be the sphenoid bone. So the sphenoid bone will make up the back of the orbit. Another place you can see the sphenoid bone is right here on the lateral side, just anterior to that temporal bone, which was one of the cranial bones. So this is sphenoid bone as well as back here. Then on the lateral side of the eye orbit, you have the zygomatic bone. You have the zygomatic bone on the lateral side of the orbit. The zygomatic bone has a small process here that makes up part of the zygomatic arch, and this process is named the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. And again, the temporal process along with the process off of this bone, the temporal bone, make up the zygomatic arch together. So temporal process of the zygomatic bone and then the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. It's a little bit confusing with these two, so make sure you work on those in lab. Again, this is the temporal process on the zygomatic bone. This zygomatic bone makes up your cheekbone. And then another facial bone here is the mandible. And you can see the mandible is a single bone. And on this mandible, you have the majority of it here will be the body of the mandible. And then you have an opening here for nerves to um, go through the skull. This one is called the mental foramen. Remember, a foramen is a hole, and remember, mental, when you learned mental, meant the chin. So, mental foramen. And then this area here on the mandible is called the mandibular ramus. The mandibular ramus, this flattened region here. And then as we move up, the part where um, the mandible articulates with the temporal bone. There's a smooth rounded surface here, and if you've learned the term for smooth rounded surface, that is a condyle. So this is called the mandibular condyle. So you can see it there as it articulates with the shallow depression there, the fossa in the temporal bone. So here you have the mandibular condyle, and then the shallow depression 
the fossa and the temporal bone. So that's the mandible. Now in addition on the mandible, you see um, these little pockets here where the teeth can sit into the bone here. And these are called alveolar sacs or alveolar pockets. And that's where the teeth can sit into the bone on both the maxilla and the mandible. Now we have two other, two other bones I need to make you aware of. Here in the nasal cavity, we have these lower bones here of the nasal cavity. If you remember on the ethmoid bone, we learned about the, um, con the um, conchi. There's the medial conchi here. And then there's an individual bone, set of bones here at the inferior side of the nasal cavity. This one is the inferior nasal concha. So there's two of those. So you see this one on this side as well. So this is inferior nasal conchi. There's two of those bones inside the nasal cavity. And then the base of the nasal septum is a separate bone. It does articulate again with the ethmoid bone. Remember the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone made up the superior side of the nasal septum. This lower bone here, inferior bone, is called the vomer. This is the vomer. Let me show you the vomer in one other location. As you look at the diagrams in your um, handouts and you look at the skull in lab, you're going to see the vomer here on the inferior side. So you see how this is the nasal cavity. This part here is going to be the vomer. So that's the better place to see the vomer is there on the inferior side. And last but not least, on this side you can see the bones here that make up your palate. The deep end of your palate on the posterior side of the palate and these are actually called the palatine bones. So there's two palatine bones here and they articulate with the maxilla bone that make up the majority of your hard palate on the front. So you have the two maxilla bones here and then you have the two parietal bones here and maybe make out the suture here but in lab you'll certainly be able to see the sutures there for the two palatine bones. And again, here's the vomer in this view. So those are the facial bones. And you'll need to work on those in lab and get used to those.